Friday Night Frenzy, sponsored by Berkshire Heating and Air and Wilbur Hammond, Munson Academy. Good evening, sports fans. It's time for your Friday Night Frenzy. I'm your host, Glenn Kittle. We're in week three of the winter sports season. As things start to get ramping up, we got a great lineup for you tonight. So let's start things off on the hard word, on the hard wood. We have we got a battle of perfect records. 7-0 Northampton Lady Blue Devils facing off against the 7-0 Long Meadow Lancers. Third quarter, Lancers up 38-34. to Long Meadows M. Cage taking the ball full court up and under layup. As to the Lancers lead, making it 40-34. to Later in the quarter, Northampton's Tegan McDonald strips the ball from Long Meadow. Long pass to Bree Heafy. Heafy to the Northampton hoop, cutting the lead to three. Northampton Gonna get another steal. Bree Heafy on the breakaway. She lays it in. Blue Devils get within one. Next long metal possession. Maddie Torres gets the ball to Mayla Allen. Step back three. Got him, coach. Lancers up 45 to 41. Long metal with the ball. Sam Michonne passes to Grace Taylor. Taylor from downtown. Got it. Metal up seven. And long metal goes on to win it. Final score in that one. Lancers 66. Blue Devils 60. St. Mary's Saints at 7-2, visiting the 8-0 Pioneer Valley Christian Academy. Second half action here. Eagles up 22-14. Ava Knox to Sadie Keegan, who fires the rock to Kylie Schmidt. Schmidt's elbow jumper puts Pioneer Valley Christian up 24-14. St. Mary's looking to respond. It's going to be Caitlin Cabrini passing it back to Paige Hakoski. The floater off the glass is going to be good. Saints cut the lead to 8. Later on in that quarter, Eagles up 24 to 17. Ella Knox with the bounce pass to Sadie Keegan. Keegan gets the turnaround jumper to go. Finer Valley up nine now. Back Saints possession, Caitlin Cabrini looking for an option and she finds Audrey Amaral wide open under the hoop. Saints back within seven. PVCA up 26 to 19. Ella Knox passes to Ava Knox. Knox finds Kylie Schmidt and Schmidt finds another Eagles bucket. Final score in that one. St. Mary's going to lose by 13 to PBCA. Springfield International at 3-6, hosting the Amherst Hurricanes Wednesday night. Second quarter, Bulldogs down 16-20. London Denson kicks it to Jalen Lovejoy. Lovejoy gets the floater over three canes. The Bulldogs cut the lead to two. On the inbound, it's Lovejoy's defense on display. Lovejoy pestering the Hurricanes. Takes it away and gets the easy lay. And just like that, Game's tied back up at 20. Amherst with the ball now. Spencer Waite is going to keep his balance. The pass off to Shamel Nichols. Nichols finds Liam Stewart wide open. Drains the three. Hurricanes up 23 to 20 now. Later on in that quarter, Jalen Lovejoy with another steal. Lead pass to Brian Lawrence. Lawrence, hop step bucket, gets the Bulldogs within one. Bulldog ball, Nyrell Norris to Jayon Clark. Baker. Kicks it to Brian Lawrence. Lawrence back out to Norris. Money from three. Puts the Bulldogs on top 25 to 23, but it won't be enough. Amherst going to go on ahead and win it. Final score. Haynes 58. Bulldogs 46. The East Long Meadow Spartans visiting the Chicopee High Pacers. Starting things off with a Pacers three in the corner from Lauren Cross. Spartan ball now trying to get a three of their own. Not going to go. Spartans are going to be on the offensive boards, though. Grace Moore drives and lays it in. Gets the deuce. Cassidy Patel for Chicopee using the speed and two screens. Pump fakes, sends a Spartan flying, puts him the easy deuce. Pacers in the backcourt. Lauren crosses pass, gets tipped by Grace Moore. Pacers and Spartans all fighting for possession. Deanna Garcia is going to get it to Sophia Guzman. Guzman buying Aubrey Joden to finish off the break. Spartan's going to be finding their rhythm now. Great ball movement from East Long Meadow. Leads its way to a Grace Moore three. Gets out to the wing and it's good. Final score in that one. The East Long Meadow Spartans just edge it past the Chicopee High Pacers. 45 to 41. Holyoke girls ball inbounding versus Central. I'm Milan Treadwell. Mercedes gets a tough layup to go for the Purple Knights. Other end of the court, Central's. Full court press working to perfection. Golden Eagles get the steal and the bucket. Holyoke getting to work. Treadwell Mercedes gets another bucket through the Golden Eagles D. The tough basket here. She drives down to the lane. Gets the left-handed bucket to go. 
Central setting up their offense. Ball gets worked around the arc. Ends up getting in for a wide open Central three-pointer and it's gonna be good. Purple Knights working their way through the full court press, but Central suffocating the Purple Knights. They're on the fast break now. Central is gonna get the bucket on this one and one. Central goes on to win in a blowout victory. A lot of score in that one. The Golden Eagles 75, Purple Knights 34. Back to boys ball. Comp hosting jog. Caden Miller going to fight through the contact. Light touch on the floater for the Deuce. Jog working it around now. Being patient on offense. Falcons can't penetrate the Colts defense, but perfectly executed pick and roll for DJ Johnson. Gets through that lane. His layup is good. Comps bringing the ball up. McCluster gets his screen and attacks the lane and gets another great finish. Dog looks to answer. They're going to pick up the ball and they're going to find Nate Pace at the top of the key. He drives. The Colts get the charge call. Putting their body on the line. Colts get the turnover. Dog gets the ball taken away here on this possession. The Pacers going to start off the break. Looks wide open, not so fast from G DJ Johnson. He gets the chase down block, but it won't be enough to spark the Falcons' offense. Final score in that one, Chicken Pea Comp 59, Chog 40. Back to girls ball now, Hamden Charter at Pioneer Valley. That's Akela Ramos in the bucket for Hamden. Hamden showing off the ball movement here. Now there are a series of passes leads to a three-point attempt on the wing. It's gonna be no good. Tanaya Pittman using her size, gets the board and the bucket. Hamden bringing the ball up. Pittman gets the ball in the post, spins off, gets a layup, gets it to go. Pioneer Valley trying to get their offense going. Ball gets knocked around before falling to Greenlee Lagemonier. His tough layup gets the over Pittman. A couple of plays later, Lagemonier gets fouled and converts two from the charity stripe, but Pioneer Valley ends up getting blown out. Final score in that one, HCSS 55, Pathfinder 34.